these are the things we will be doing today right now that is we'll be creating our google ads account the right way right we'll be setting up the complete google ads account and i'll show you the process we'll learn what are the core pillars of google ads right then we'll understand where can we run ads what are the different platforms and things like that what is the world of google ads and then we would also see how we can get credit that is nothing but free promotional money from Google, because as discussed, this is going to be practical training, right? We want you to implement things live while we are running it. And if we can get free credit from Google, free money from Google, that will help us to implement things, you know, within this batch itself while we are doing, right? All of you who are setting up this Google ads account for the very first time, follow the process very carefully. There might be, there are a couple of chances of making a mistake. I'll show you what is that mistake, what we should be avoiding and what is the right way of setting that up, right? So that is how we will be following further. Perfect. So let us see how we, you know, have different things for today. Before going into Google ads or before learning about Google ads, we need to first understand Google, right? We need to understand what's the job of Google. So Google leads the search engine market space, right? There are a lot of search engines. Google leads that space, right? As of October 2019, Google led, you know, Google was leading market share by over 90% out of all the search engines. 90% of the time people use Google for searching anything, right? We all know how big Google is as a company, but we might not know that 83%, nearly 83% of revenue what Google gets is via Google ads, right? Why are running this advertisement is what the Google gets money from, right? So that is the pillar. That is the main thing. You know, we can understand how important that is for Google. Now, what is Google's motto? Google's motto as a search engine is to show the most relevant information what we are looking for, right? That's what the Google job is. Forget about ads, you know? as a secondary but google's as a job as a search engine is to show relevant information right whatever we search will see the same thing right if i search for certain phone specifications i'll be seeing that if i search for hospital near me i'll be seeing that if i search how to get into army i'll be seeing that right whatever we search will be seeing that information only so that google's job to get that information to us now, how does that work? We need to understand that also in, you know, the process and background. So Google, what it does is whenever we search something, Google has an algorithm or it's also called as spiders or crawlers. What these spiders or algorithm go, does is, you know, it grows across the Internet in the entire world, right? It crawls all the websites possible, which is having that information, what we are looking for. Say I'm searching for, you know, Samsung Galaxy phone specifications, right? There are many blogs, there are many uh, websites which are having this phone specifications. Google crawls all of those websites through different words, through the pages and multiple things. And it pulls up the top 10, what Google thinks would be doing the justification, top 10 websites that pulls and throws that to us, right? Now, how does Google identify that these are the top 10 or these should be presentable? Google identifies through multiple things. It could be maybe, you know, out of all those thousands of websites having that information, how many websites, you know, are having most words? How many websites are trusted by people? How do Google understand how it's trusted by people? By domain authority. How old is the domain, right? And also something like how much time other people are going on that website and spending on that website and stuff like that. It crawls all the website and, you know, top best websites we see and that is why we continue to use google right because we see what we look for now what why google ads does this google is saying that you know to business owner that hey you know what you can show your ads and come on top even though you do not have you know search engine optimized via ads you can still show your uh, ads to the user provided they should be searching for it right? Because Google's job is to show information whenever someone is searching for it, right? So we need to show our ads and it needs to be relevant to the user. Relevancy is a very important factor, right? And it will continue, will continue to discuss about 
why relevant, why we need to be relevant in different things throughout our program. But consider this, we need to be relevant. And that is how Google will be able to show our ads, you know, more promptly to better users in the cheaper cost and stuff like that, right? So we'll be able to use Google search listing, but we need to show our ads to the right audience so that Google promotes our, you know, ad more thoroughly, right? That is how it works. Now, we also need to understand the world of Google ads. Where do we see this ads? Where can it come up? So this is the world of Google ads. Whenever we search for something on internet, on the Google search, we see different kind of ads there. One is text ads, one is the, you know, shopping ads. Then there are ads which are mixture of, you know, text, but those come dynamically. Those are called dynamic ads, smart ads, and different things like that. Then on internet, there are websites, right? Which Google has partnered with 2 million plus websites. On internet, whenever we go on any random website, we'll see a lot of banner ads there, right? So how does those ads come up? The answer is via Google because Google has partnered with those websites and by running ads on Google, we'll be getting access to that 2 million plus website, what we can target. Then YouTube ads, we all know YouTube ads. How does those look like? Whenever we load YouTube, there'll be some ads sitting there. Whenever we play some video, there'll be, you know, five seconds capable ad comes up, non-skippable ads comes up, discovery ads, and multiple things like that come up on YouTube as well, right? Then there are application ads or app ads. You might be using Android or you might be using iOS. Let it be the Play Store or App Store. Search for any particular app. You'll be seeing the first two results would be an ad, right? You search for a game, you search for a hotel booking app, you search for, you know, a productivity app, you search for a photo editing, anything. You will be seeing first two results will be coming as an ad via those Google Ads companies get millions and millions of downloads by running just app install ads. That alone is a million dollar market, right? So these are the different places where we'll be able to run the ads and we'll be able to showcase their ads to the right audience. Let us quickly see how does this look like so that we are, you know, having idea of these things more, right? All right. Uh, let us say if I'm searching for something like digital marketing, say tools, right? I'm searching for digital marketing tools, right? And if I search for that very first thing, whatever comes up on Google, I see that is an ad. How do I know that this is an ad by this 80 plus, you know, black color 80 marking on the top here? This is where I get to know that this is an ad, right? So this is where we get to know. The second one is an ad from Facebook, right? Again, an ad. The third one is an ad. Fourth one from here. These are organic listing. If we scroll this uh, towards very bottom, there are no other ads, right? Sometimes there might be ads coming up at the bottom as well. Right. So these are called search ads or text based ads, which comes up on search listing. Right now, uh, you know, your ads, how does these ads are coming up? There might be many ads, you know, let us say something we are searching for flight ticket booking. Right. I'm searching for this and let us see what comes up. I search for flight ticket booking first ad is by clear trip then make my trip is my trip you know and this particular website right is cool this at the bottom there is one more ad from this guy scanner right these are all ads now if you see a search for flight ticket booking there are total five ads coming up on the whole you know page right out of 10 12 listing what are possible five are ads that means these companies are running ads and that is how we are able to see that but in reality do you think these are only five companies running ads no, there are thousands of companies running ads targeting this, you know, keyword. But why do we only see this particular ad? It's because these companies are doing something right, right? They are able to target a user on a particular keyword and they are coming on top. And we, you know, if I click on any one of this, well, I'll go to the landing page of that particular business directly, right? And in this workshop, we'll be learning end-to-end -end process of how do we run these kind of ads? How do we come on top? 
how do we target the right user and stuff like that right so those kind of ads we are you know we will be able to learn right now this is how the search ads look like right now let us say if i search for something like booths for men right i've searched for a product right which is booths for men now when i search for this these are all uh, you know coming up with the image price uh, brand name description and stuff like that are these ads yes all of these on the top are also ads how do we identify again with this black icon here you know ad as ads here that is we we know that these are ads right these are not coming up directly these companies are running google ads and that is how we are able to see this ads all these ads what you see here on the top right with the photo with the name of the product the price the offer and different things like that these are called shopping ads this can be run for an e-commerce business if you have an e-commerce business or if you want to help any e-commerce business grow shopping ads are very profitable because this will help you know you to get direct that sale right anyone clicks on this they'll go to that particular landing page they'll buy the product right so these are called shopping ads so if you have a physical product right something which can be shipped to the end user you will be able to run shopping ads on google there are two places you will be able to see this ad the one is a search listing and another one is a shopping tab on the top right if you click on this shopping tab on the top you will be able to see here also you know all of the ads which are on top are ads these are called shopping ads we'll be able to see how do we set up these kind of ads and different things like that right so all of it will be learning you know with in the show now let us say we go to any particular website on internet right there might be a lot of ads coming up right a lot of different banner ads i'm loading ask if i you know randomly search for something like say samsung ultra right s22 say i'm looking for specifications right as discussed so i'm looking for specifications and say i open different websites here i want to read through specifications and i want to understand what are the specifications for say this particular model right we are opening different websites let us see if we are able to see some ad on these different websites we are what we are opening up and we'll also identify will also find out the way how to identify if these are ads so very first website is this news website here archduck right right on the website when i load it the very first thing i see is this ad right create and sell secure courses number one platform to sell courses graphy right so this is what the ad i see how do i identify that this is an ad right the answer is whenever you see some ad on the top right corner if you see there is some uh, small little eye icon if you hover your mouse on it it says google dwara vigyapan right that means this ad is coming up because this company ashok has partnered with google right and that is how we are able to see ads now graphy is running google ads right and they are having some kind of targeting maybe they are targeting a user who sell courses that is why i am able to see this ad maybe they are targeting this website directly that anybody who is on this website they should be able to see this ad right similarly on internet will be able to run google ads will be able to promote any website on this 2 million plus websites on internet and will be able to show our display ads but how the targeting works there is a lot of different ways of targeting we can target based upon you know people's interest we can target based upon people's you know uh, if they have visited our website earlier that is called remarketing and multiple other things we'll be learning that within the show right so if we scroll the page towards bottom let us see if we are able to find few more ads and if yes we'll see if those are from you know i see this one more ad here that is ad beat intelligence right again it says this open and all of this information is scrolling through how do we identify this as in google ad again there's an i icon which says google dwara vigyapan it's a legal policy that companies which you know promote ads this way they need to show information to the end user that it is an ad right 
So on Google, this is how it shows on search. You'll see that black color icon on, you know, on uh, any display, you'll see that I on Facebook, Instagram, it says sponsored, right? Similarly, any kind of company which promotes ads, they need to show what that it is promoted via ads, right? So this is how we see these ads. Let us go on this different website and let us see if we are able to find any ads here. If there are any ads, we will be able to, you know, uh, maybe check through that I icon. Now, again, on the GSM arena, again, see ad beat, ad intelligence. If I click on this, if I have my mouse on this ads by Google, it says, if I click on this I icon, right? It says about, you know, this ad, why this ad and stuff like that. It's taking us to this Google page, right? So this is also an ad. Now, again, there might be a lot of different ads here similar to this and by clicking on the i icon we will be able to find that out here again there is an ad by SEM rush right and if i click on this i icon it says ads by google so this is how our display ads you know look like right and we all are aware about youtube ads how does those look how and where we'll be able to see right but just to show you one couple of things there i'll be showing you that once again right so if we are on a youtube page now on the top where you see youtube music sometimes there might be a display ad sitting here or there might be any video also promoted via ad and stuff like that right so all of these you know different things we will be able to see here right now let us say if we are opening any particular video here right let us see if there is any ad coming up i've opened this cartoon now if you see the first video that is coming via ad and this is again a skippable ad right if skip that then there is this entire video which can play up in between again there might be few ads coming up there might be a discovery ads which sit on this right side right and on the top right corner again there is this ad fun math games and different things out there so this is how you know youtube ads will be able to run via google ads there's only one way of running these kind of ads that is from google ads platform right so this is how we will be able to run that and after this workshop try to load try to load the application try to search for you know app on your play store or app store see how the app ads comes up right let it be ios or play store you'll be able to see ads coming up on google and that ads coming up on that listing and that is also via google ads so this is a search this is a you know uh world of google ads where you will be able to see different ads majorly right these are search ads you search for anything on internet you know these are search sometimes it can be dynamic and other ads coming up what you will be able to see that here you'll be able to identify with this mark all the shopping ads it looks like this right on the internet you'll be able to see different kind of ads banner ads two million plus websites now apart from google there might be different players that, that you know can sign up uh, that a website can sign up for ads, right player like verizon which is a us based uh company right that also does that's an internet service provider company but uh it does multiple things that also promotes ads or a website might also choose to show ads directly for example if i am having a blog right if i have lacks of traffic instead of signing up with google i can individually you know sponsor any company directly by taking the payment from that right so then there will be no i icon if it's only from google we'll be able to see i icon and stuff like that right so this is how display ads look like this is how your app ads look like you search for any app the first one or two results you will be finding that as well ad inside the app also sometimes you'll be able to see ads right those would be combination of youtube display and different app ads out there which are possible right so that is the world of google ads where we'll be able to see different ads we'll be able to run ads and everything like that now I'll be showing you how do you sign up for the Google Ads account the right way so that we will be able to, you know, uh, set up the account right today here, right? So let me do that. But before we go there, I will also show you our, you know, live account, blank account from background. 
right? So that you know how does an account look like once you sign up for that so that you make sure you have the same interface and stuff like that, right? So let me open this uh, particular, you know, account here. All right. All right. One heads up here. We are an agency, right? So we also have a master account, agency account from where we can handle multiple clients from one single place or one single login, right? So every five, 10 accounts, we create one master account and we, you know, run ads like this. So what I'm going to show you is via our master account but i'll show you one individual account there you'll have absolutely the same thing but you might not have just one or two things inside it right so on your screen right now what you see is your google ads interface from background right now if you see here this is an you know this, this is again again you know as discussed an example account a dummy account where we'll be doing everything right so this is suspended do not worry we'll not be running this live so everything will be set up here to show you things. But once you sign up for your account, your account should look similar to like this. The only thing what you'll not have here is this on the top left corner where you say Clickify Media and the drop down to, you know, get into different accounts. You will not be seeing that. Apart from that, your screen should look exactly like this, right? This is how your account looks like once we sign up for the Google Ads account, right? Perfect. Now, let me show you. How do we sign up at the very first place so that we are able to set up our account? All right, so let me open this right flow for you where we'll be able to set up this Google Ads account. Right, so I'm opening up a slide where we'll be able to explain you the process. So follow this carefully, guys. There might be a chance of mistake, which I'll show you right now, which we need to make sure that we are not falling into that, right? So to set up your Google Ads account, you need to click on ads.google.com or in your you know, URL, you need to type in ads.google.com, right? Once you type this and enter in your browser, it will load up this screen, right? And here, once you load up, once you're in this screen, on the top right corner, you'll be seeing two options always. One is sign in, another one is get started. You need to click on this highlighted option, get started. If you're creating the account for the very first time, if you already have an account, you will be doing signing in, right? And once, say, if you're setting up today for the first time, after that, always head on sign in, though it takes you to, you know, it shows you an option of get started. Do not do that. One business, only one account, right? So that you are making sure everything is set up right. Google also can block or suspend your account permanently if you're having more than two there is one policy issue circumventing policy which might which might happen if you're having multiple accounts for same business right so make sure that is uh, not happening and once you hit get started it will load it through your gmail id and password right it's not a separate one just like where one gmail id will have drive will have photos will have different things right Similarly, you know, you'll be able to use the same Gmail ID and password once you sign up for this, right? So make sure if you are having multiple IDs, make sure you fix one ID and you can fix the one which you regularly use because Google might be sending a lot of, you know, communication emails so that if you use regular one, you'll be able to have the access, right? So this is where you need to click on. Once you're in the site, you need to click on get started from the top right corner. Once you hit get started, you will come on this screen. Now, there is one thing about this screen. Google will show you options like this, right? It will ask you what your goal is. Do not select any one of it because if you select any one of it, it will take you through the express campaign or an automated campaign where everything happens according to Google. So what happens is once you give anything here, on the next screen, again, it will ask you four questions and option to select. Similarly, it will ask you 15, 20 questions. At the end, it will automatically create a campaign. But that's not the powerful way of creating a campaign, right? So that's just an automated. If it's working good, it's working good. If not, you'll not be able to make any changes inside it, right? So you need to have a campaign with your control. So what you need to do here is once you're in this screen, just scroll this page down. At the bottom, you will see this option, switch to expert mode, right? 
So once you're here, you need to click on switch to expert mode, right? And then it will take you to this particular screen. All right, so once we are here, again, it's asking you to create a campaign. You shouldn't create any campaign right now. In fact, we are not creating a campaign. We are just setting up an account, right? So you need to click on this option again at the bottom, create an account without a campaign. The moment you do that, boom, your Google Ads account is ready to use. On the top right corner, you'll see something like this, uh, you know, 10 digit customer ID, your email ID and stuff like that. A unique ID will be displayed. Now on your screen, you might see one more information or one more screen that will be billing information. You need to give everything correctly, right? It will ask you for your time zone, your billing currency, your, you know, different things of your uh, business name, your business address, your communication phone number and stuff like that. Make sure you give everything right way. Otherwise, it might not complete your account setup, right? So this is how you create your account for the very first time. I'll repeat the process. It's a very simple process. Ads.google.com. I will load up this screen. You click on get started on the top right corner. You will be on the screen. Scroll this page down. You'll see this option switch to an expert mode. The moment you click on this, it will take you here. Click on this option, create an account without a campaign. And that's it. Your first Google Ads account is ready right and if once you click on got it you will be going inside a screen which i showed you right now and it will look similar to that right so this is how you set up your google account for the very first time is this option clear and are we clear with the setting up of you know google ads account for the very first time if yes click on or type in yes in the chat box so that we know we are on the same page right perfect great so that looks good uh, i see that you know it looks perfect so i see your response and let us see what do we do next once we have our google ads account ready right great perfect a couple of heads up here is you know once you set up your account for the very first time right now you might need to add different people, maybe your team or someone else inside the account, right? How you can do that? You obviously will not be sharing your Gmail ID or password. The right process is once you set up your account, if you need to add different people in it, you need to add them as a different user, right? You'll be able to add them as a user using their email ID, whatever you add, they will be able to access your account, right? You can give read only access, you can give standard access, you can give view only access and stuff like that. You'll be able to add multiple people. There might be two more options which you see definitely in India. One is individual account. One is, you know, uh, agent, one is a business account, right? Individual account or a business account within this. Make sure if you're a business, you select that option, right? And sometimes only in business account, you'll be able to add users and stuff like that, right? So that is how it works once you set up. So make sure you're setting up entirely this way in the right way, and you will be able to run your ads perfectly. Right, so once we set up our Google Ads account for the very first time, in, you know, in India, there are three different offers from Google, not one, not two, but three different offers from Google right now. So Google will give you that money Google will give you that free credit so that you can run your ads. And this is only for new businesses to test the waters, to test the platform out here, right? So the three offers which are there on India are this, right? 2,000 rupees of credit from Google, 20,000 rupees of credit from Google. If you're lucky, you might also get 25,000 of credit from Google, right? These are the three offers in India. In US, UK, there are, you know, offers of $100 and different offers, right? These keeps changing. Right now, these are the offers in India which are eligible, right? I'll show you how do you set up, how do you, you know, get these credits, right? So that you can use this credit within the course of this uh, workshop and you'll be able to see how Google Ads is working for you. By this week completely, we'll be able to learn end-to-end -end process of creating and running a search campaign all by ourselves. That is how strongly we'll be teaching everything in the right flow. But make sure you're also signing up for this offer so that you can use this money and 
run this offer, right? If you do not have an account to practice right now, help your friends, help your neighbors, help your, you know, uh, relatives, anyone who have a business, you can educate them about this offers and ask them to, you know, uh, offer them that you can help them with this kind of a thing because you're practicing and stuff like that so that you are also helping someone in need. You're also helping yourself by practicing things, right? So these are the offers. So to claim this offer, these are the two different ways. One is we need to search it on Google. And the other one is this ads.google.com. This is directly on that page, what we load up for signing up, right? There itself, we will be able to see how we, you know, uh, get that different credit, right? So let us do the very first thing right now, which we spoke, that is, searching about this uh, searching about this offer on google and let's see what comes up all right great so this is you know google search listing let me open an incognito window here so that we are making sure it shows up because we keep on searching this for a long you know a lot of times it might not show up every time though incognito doesn't make change but we'll just make sure that it is you know doing that right so to search for that offer all we need to type in is google ads you know credit right or google ads credit india google ads 2000 india or stuff like that now the very first thing what we see is again ads by google right it's a google old ad running on google right so make sure you click on the one which is this ads.google.com or anything which is from google.com right there might be sometimes third party sites third party coupon companies which might be running these kind of things or a different company this might say google and stuff like that but it might not be by google right so make sure you are clicking on this one google.com that is something which is non-hackable if you see that thing that means you are on a genuine site from google right now, again, the second one is also the free listing that is ads.google.com, right? Then this one is also from Google like that. If this one, if you see, is not from Google, right? So while you load up, make sure you're clicking on the one which is from Google, right? The very first thing we're learning is that 2,000 rupees of credit from Google. That is for sure there, right? And 20,000 is also for few accounts, few times it might be there, right? 25,000 is completely, you know, luck based if you are having you are those business that google wants to promote right if your business category is within that the educational or different things like that or if you're lucky you might get that twenty five thousand of credit but let us first see how do we get that two thousand rupees of credit right so as i said on our screen it might not come up all the time but we'll try to see if we can load that thing here all right great so this is that page where it says again there is a catch for every offer here the very first offer that is you know two thousand rupees of credit from google that you'll be getting once you spend 500 rupees right you can claim this offer but to get eligible for this you need to spend 500 rupees on google right and google will turn 500 into 2500 making you or giving you that two thousand rupees of credit right sometimes this might be one in india there's one more offer going on for 2000 that is once you spend 2000 google might give you 2000 so that is one more offer so on this page you need to fill this form on the right hand side you see all this form right your name your mobile number your email address your business information once you fill all of that and once you hit submit then on the email id which you provided here you'll be getting a 16 digit promotional code 2000 rupees 16 digit code you need to paste that in your google ads account like a coupon code right you need to paste inside the Google Ads account and then you'll be eligible for that offer, right? And again, this is only for new businesses. So if you're setting up the Google Ads account for the very first time, make sure you're giving the same email ID here, the one is the youth for the Google Ads account setup so that the process is smooth and you are getting that offer, right? Now, the other offer, 20,000 rupees of credit from Google, as discussed, we'll be able to find that on this page itself, ads.google.com. This is the page we go on to, you know, create our account, right? So get started. This is what we spoke about. On the same page, you see at the bottom here, there is this offer to help you get started with Google Ads. We'll give you 20,000 in free ad credit, right? 
but the catch for this particular offer is you also need to spend 20,000 rupees on Google. Most of the times, if we start Google ads, if it's you know running good, we will spend that in a, no time, right? And if I would suggest you also claim this offer, right? Let it be sitting so that whenever you reach that 20,000 rupees, Google will give you another 25, 20,000 rupees, which is not a small amount, right? Uh, and you can use this to run uh, different, you know, campaigns, different ads on Google, right? So this is the offer. You need to click on get started and then it will ask you to sign up for your Google ads account. Or if you have already signed up recently, you will see a button which says claim offer, right? You will be able to do that and then you will be able to, you know, uh, load that screen and then it will be ready. You would be eligible for the 20,000 rupees of credit from Google, right? Let me show you one more place, one more thing from where we will be able to see that thing right now. All right. Let me share my screen once again. Right. So if you are in your, you know, uh, Google Ads account, there itself you will be able to see 25,000 rupees of Google is giving you. In your offers page, you will be seeing something like this, right? This is the page. If you see, you know, it says get 25,000 rupees. Previously, our few students also got this offer, right? And at the bottom, you can also see this, you know, ID. For this offer, you need not do anything. It Google might give you automatically if you're lucky. If your business category is within that, what Google wants to promote, you will be seeing this offer. For 20,000 rupees, I showed you for 2,000 rupees, you need to do one more thing. Once you, you know, fill that form, as we discussed, Google will give you that 16 digit of code, right? You need to paste that code in your Google Ads account, then you will be eligible for that offer. So to do that, let us go inside our Google Ads account and let us see from where we will be able to paste that. This is our Google Ads account. Now, one heads up here to master or to become Google Ads champion, which we are going to be within this one month of course. To become a Google Ads champion, we need we not only learn, you know, practical, we not only learn theory and practical, we also need to understand navigation of it, right? That is where do we click, where is what setting, right? Google Ads might be very overwhelming for the very first time once you sign up, right? The scroll. Screen is very different. We are not used to it. It might look very complicated, but once we use again and again, you will be getting habituated. So make sure you also follow navigation while we are teaching stuff, right? And in navigation to guide things, these are the standard ones, you know, top right corner, top left corner, bottom left corner, and bottom right corner. This is how standard, you know, in English it follows, right? So make sure we are following this way. It's not center right, top bottom, top left top or stuff like that. It's top right, top left, bottom left and bottom right, right? So these are the things. Now, if you see on the top right corner here, there are different, you know, icons here, right? For report, for search, for tools and settings. To paste the code, 16 digit code, we need to click on this tools and settings from the top right corner. The moment we click on that, if you see, there are many options, you know, hidden inside this. There are a lot of things which can be controlled, which we can go into in different things to do different options, right? To paste that 16 digit code, this is the option. The last one says billing, right? And the billing, we have summary, transactions, documents, promotion settings. We need to click on this promotions, right? And then we'll, it will load up this particular screen. So here, we will be able to add that 16 digit of code, right? Again, if you have not completed that, you know, billing process, set up that billing process, you need to complete that and then it will show you the screen. Or sometimes if you hit this plus icon, it will automatically show that you need to complete that and then it will take you to the next step. In Google Ads, anything to add, you know, it is plus blue icon, right? So you need to click on, once you're here in the promotions, you need to click on this plus blue icon and that is the box where you need to enter your 16 digit of free uh, 16 digit of co credit code which you get in your email id right so once you enter this code and hit submit you'll be able to see that thing running up here right and then you will be able you can make sure that this offer is there the same way once you sign up for the very first time if you're taking 20000 of credit then you'll be seeing that also or if there is a 25000 you might get an email 
also or you can just simply come on this screen and you will be able to see that you know it is loaded up right so that is how you can claim credit 2000 rupees 20000 rupees or 25000 rupees of credit from google all right perfect that is how we claim you know credit from google right and yes there are a few different timelines for 2000 rupees your credit might be eligible only for up to one month right once you claim that for 20000 rupees it might be you know two months so once you add that credit you will be able to see you know uh, the eligibility of it the start date the end date the criteria and stuff like that not only that it will also show you the progress bar that if it's you know say in 20000 if you have consumed 10000 it shows 50 percent complete 70 percent complete or it might also show you that bar that you know 2000 pending 2000 remaining and stuff like that so all of it you will be able to see right under the promotions tab and you will be able to you know scroll through these different options here right so that is how we claim uh, credit from google right perfect so this is how we set up our account this is how we claim the offer so make sure you know by today we are setting this entire process so that by tomorrow we are having the account to run and we are able to do that all right arushi you are on spotlight you can ask your question now. hi thank you karan i have uh, three questions mm -hmm. uh, one is uh, could you please explain all kinds of site extensions in search ads uh, the second is that uh, if uh, i have an account uh, which is inactive uh, i had run a very few campaigns you know like 500 200 2000 rupees campaigns earlier so is there a way if i can get that google credit now it has been a long time like last year i did that so is there a way that i can claim the google credit or a way to uh, uh, claim the credit the third question is uh, uh, yeah if you mentioned that in these uh, uh, there are two ways of adding accounts one is if you are an agency the other one is if we are uh, an individual business so in case of an agency like uh, if we have uh, if we have access to two accounts how can we change the name of the other account so that there's no confusion of uh, from the account id of what the number is and right perfect i'll i'll start with the third question that's the very important one right so one is an individual account the other one is business account agency that's a different thing altogether right uh, so forget about agency whenever we sign up for the account there will be individual or business, right? These are the two options. So, you know, uh, if you're individual, you can select individual. If you're a business, registered business, you can also set up for the business, right? So similarly, you'll be able to set up for different businesses what you have. Agency is a different thing altogether. Ours is an agency account. That means it's just, you know, through that one particular ID, you will be able to load different accounts and, you know, have access for all, right? So that's how it works can we check that somewhere like i had set up the account last year so mm. now i don't remember what option i had chosen at that point of time right i know you're billing you will be able to check you know what type of account it is right and we'll be able to it might not give you an option to interchange but we'll be able to check that thing and stuff like that right so let me load my screen and see if i am able to show that here all right right the right name for that is you know individual and organization right so under is where we will be able to see this here right now this is that you know uh, option account type if you see organization and individual these are the things which uh, we can see right so this is the option which loads up so either individual or organization and this is how you'll be able to set that up okay, okay. yes okay. coming to your second question if you if your account is inactive for a long time can you get the offer if you're wanting to use it for the same business no you cannot get the offer let it be you have an account year old or 10 years old you know it's still even one paisa if it's spent it's spent google does not consider that as a new account only to the new account say a new business you're setting up right 
for that you can get that offer but for any old account then offer is not eligible right great now and coming to your first question about titling extensions extensions for uh, that just before that uh, if you could show me how can we change the name of the accounts for example in between you shared that people share their accounts with us right and if i have access to another google account like on the top right if there are two accounts let's say that i have access to how can i change the name like you have written it clickify media so if i right. say clickify only media. right clickify media is just the you know company name jurani explains this is the name for this account right now to change that account name we need to go into the account level settings for that we need to click on this all campaigns on the top left corner then we need to click on settings right so once we are here we'll see two options account settings and campaign settings we need to click on account settings here itself we'll be able to change that name so this is that name account name is that jurani explains right so if i change this to jurani account it will call that right so you will be able to change this from here and that's it your account name will be changed and reflected soon once it's you know uh, loading that up so this is where you'll be able to change your account name okay if you see right now it has changed to jurani account so this is how you will be able to change your account name all right coming to your first question about cycling extensions extensions are something which need to be explained the right way with the right flow so i would say you know third or fourth day within this week we'll be learning that chapter the right with the right flow right and that is when we'll be explaining everything about extension extensions in the right flow okay okay i have one more question uh, okay just for you know a fair chance for everybody right i would say a quick last question and then we'll move on to other people here okay a bit of description on discovery ads uh what ad types right i would say to too soon to too soon to be you know talking about anything which is of a later chapter because there's no one liner answers need to be explained with the right play right flow so that you know everybody Not also understand the, the right flow take okay. it great thank you so much for asking that bhushan sir putting you on spotlight right and you can ask your question right now how are you doing yeah hi i'm all, I'm all well i just wanted to understand um, is there any benefit to open a agency account right the only benefit for an agency account is you know if master account is one thing and google partner account google partner id is one thing right master account we can open it the benefit we get is you know from one id we'll be able to log in into all different accounts what is linked to this you know master account right so that if there are 10 different clients we need not log out log in every time or switch accounts right from the top left corner we'll be able to get into one or other right that's a master account now if you're a google partner if your agency is a google partner account then there are a lot of other benefits what you get from google is you know you get new updates you get quick access to support team you get new releases and a lot of you know special credits for your clients and stuff like that which are partner program benefits you can get those so these are the two different benefits of master account and the google partner agency account okay another question is uh, i have too many accounts can i delete those accounts uh... yes you might try to delete those account sometimes it might also ask you to you know submit a form or connect to the google support team so that it deleted the right way right so you can follow that process and you might you know disable your account completely okay thanks you're welcome thank you so much for asking that question amita suri that's the stream name you know putting you on spotlight and you can ask your question how's your is how do you pronounce your first name my name is rithik actually it is my wife's account oh okay, i'm logging on laptop so my question is karan how much ad account one gmail id can have one gmail id only one account right and for one business only have one id right so from one id one business follow but that but karan i'm getting this message if you can see my account i'm getting 20000 rupees claim right if you can see this 20000 right right 20000 this one okay claim your 20000 free advertising credit okay so what's the question so, 
So my question is, when I'm opening it, there is showing to cancel account on that email ID. So should I log in with the another Gmail ID? So within your email ID, it is showing you this twenty thousand credit, right? Uh, when I'm opening that account with that same Gmail ID, which which, which I received the twenty thousand twenty thousand rupees uh, ad account, twenty uh, thousand rupees uh, ad. In that uh, uh, email ID, two account has already been cancelled. Okay. Before. But mm-hmm. by my agency, mm-hmm. so on can I be ID. able on the same email ID? Okay. So will I be able to claim this twenty thousand rupees? Did those email IDs spend anything? Yeah, four to five thousand rupees. Yes, then we cannot. You know, though it shows claim twenty thousand, it shows to me also, right? And until unless we are a new, you know, uh, account, it actually does not give that. So it it shows that option for everybody. But if that ID has you know previously spent anything, it might not be. Still, you can try, but there's no harm within it. Also, being again suspended two times. <laughs> right. So there are a lot of policies. You know, there are a lot of policies which uh, Google wants to be following in the right way. If anything which is going outside of the boundaries, your account can get suspended. It can also get suspended or banned permanently. That you will not be able to you know run as right. So we need to have our you know listing the right way. Google Ads takes things very seriously, right? Even one small mistake, like having two spaces between two different words in your search ad, can disapprove your, you know, uh, ad out there, right? So there are a lot of policies which will be uh, teaching this entire course. The boundaries we need to make sure we are learning it the right way. Just to give a heads up for everybody here, how strict it can get is this is how strict it can get. When we were working in Google. Right, there are different markets we were supporting. Right, US, UK, and different things. Uh, at the time, there was a GDA, GRDP, GDRP update, right, where the cookies policies were there. That a website needs to show that it is capturing or saving cookies of a user, right? At that time, when that was new, in Europe, in Europe, entire Europe, Google banned shopping ads. Entire Europe, Google disabled, you know, shopping ads, and Europe was not able to run shopping ads just because of that policy, you know, until unless businesses or websites were updated with that. That was how strict it was. Now that was a big revenue chunk for Google, right? By disabling that, but still Google yeah. does that because you know, user information is a very strict thing. User information are very, uh, you know, strict thing. Again, even Google can get a lot of fines, you know. Uh, if anything is outside of boundaries, that is why Google takes a, anything which is very seriously about boundaries. So we need to have everything the right way in the right manner, so that our ads are functioning smoothly, right? So that is how. Karan, my small question. Yes. My uh, account uh, got cancelled by my mm-hmm. agency. So should mm-hmm. I start with my new ID, Gmail ID? Right. You can start with your new Gmail ID, or if it's your old Gmail ID, Google will end of the day consider that you know. What are the policy violations happening in other things, right? Sometimes, if your business, if it's a blacklisting, if Google is blacklisting, right? Though you create with a new Gmail ID or everything, if Google is able to identify that, it will still suspend. I would say first try to understand why those accounts were getting suspended, right? Maybe you can quickly connect with the Google support team, understand that policy violation, and then you can avoid making that mistake which was happening earlier. Okay. And should. So should I go with the small? Uh, should I go with the older one or with the new one? Right, with the older one first, get connected with the Google support team. Right, understand that policy violation, and then they'll be able to guide you whether the old or new one. Right, I would say if you are skeptical, if your old account is already suspended, there's no harm. You can create a new one also with the new one also. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you for asking that question, Manish Bansali. Putting you on spotlight. You can ask your question right now. Thank you, Karan. Sorry, I'm not able to uh, uh, start my video. But my okay. question was: uh, when I click on Get Started, and I have two options there: Sign Up Now and Get Recommendations. So when I click on Get Sign Up Now, so this isn't showing me that export uh, ex, uh, expert mode option. Right. So that is, you know, eventually every account will lead to expert mode only. Right. Sometimes it might be directly creating an express account. Right. For that, you need to again create a campaign from beginning, uh, a search campaign, a normal campaign, so that it takes you to the expert mode. Eventually, 
every account will lead to that expert mode. It's just that sometimes in between we might be getting lost. I showed you the direct way of into getting into expert mode. But if you have an access, are you in on your system right now? Uh, I'm using uh, it in, in the laptop, but I'm connected through a phone. All right. If you have you know option of presenting your screen, I can give you access. You can show how your account is looking like so that we can fix if that is you know uh, a quick thing. Uh, not right now, but I, I'll I'll connect it. You can take some other question till then. Right. Perfect. So you know uh, maybe you can also try creating a new smart new normal campaign, and then it will automatically create or take your account to the right mode. Okay. Uh, by campaign, you mean I have to. Uh, so this is navigating me to some paid campaign. Right, you need to create one for? campaign, paid campaign, maybe a, with the dummy data inside it, but then okay. your account will be ready. Okay, okay, okay. thank you. Perfect, thank you. Ruby Thakur, putting you on spotlight, you can ask your question right now. Hey, hi, thank you, Karan. Uh, so, I'm like, I'm very, very new to this uh, Google ad, so I'm, I might ask stupid questions maybe <laughs> as you said yesterday there's nothing like a, sup, uh, a stupid question right every question is a question by rule we'll be following like you know uh everything is a learning process right so let it be anything you can freely ask that uh so like if i have a i have a yoga page on instagram and i have a channel on youtube which i recently started both uh, the the page and the youtube channel both have a different uh, gmail account so if i want to advertise my like both are my account only so if i want to advertise both of them or like i have to use uh, like different ads for for both of them got you perfect so with Google Ads, to run Google Ads, we need to have a website or, uh, you know, uh, any at least one landing page so that we are able to run search ads and different things. But if you're not having website, you can still run a few kind of campaigns. You can run application ads without website. You can run YouTube ads without website. You can run, you know, sometimes call ads to a partial way without a website. For those with the different IDs and stuff, if you have a YouTube channel, Right, you will be able to run YouTube ads, and you know you can do everything along that. Instagram, you cannot run for Instagram. You need to run Facebook ads, right? So that your ads are shown on Instagram and stuff like that. So you mm -hmm. cannot give your Instagram link as a landing page and run Google ads. That is not possible. But I can you uh, like I can advertise my YouTube. Uh, while yeah, you can run your YouTube ads via Google ads. Also, uh, if one person is starting just uh, using Google ads, how much budget should be there? Like uh, if, uh, if that is, uh, you know, offering 20,000 credit or something. So do we need to spend 20,000? Then we only use uh, that 20,000. Like if right. I don't want to use 20,000 right now, I just, I want to start like lower budget. Right. right so how much budget you should be using that's a you know part of a research for tomorrow i'll be showing you entire research process of how do we you know uh learn how much we need to spend what is the keyword cost what are domain wise costs on google and everything along that that right process tomorrow and mm -hmm. yes we'll obviously be you know uh wanting to start slow Right. So it's okay to start with 500, 1000, 100, whatever you want to spend per day. Right. The 20,000 rupees, once you claim that offer, that offer will be sitting there. That will get eligible only once you reach that cap of spending 20,000. You need not spend that in a go. Right. Slowly you can spend that, say, in a span of one and a half months, you spend that. On that one and a half month, that 45th day, 50th day, whenever you reach that 20,000 rupees of spending, from there, Google will give you 20, another thousand, which can now be Google's, you know, Credit, like which can if be, I'm like if I'm spending twenty thousand, so I'm getting forty thousand. Like you'll be getting twenty thousand extra total yeah, of forty thousand can be you know spent. And uh, one last question: when you uh, when when I started uh, that Google Ads page, and when I clicked on get get started, it is lending me to the page where it is asking for my uh, sign in, like my email right you need to sign in with your gmail id as risk because it's the same you know any gmail id should be there 
for running Google Ads, right? So you can sign in into that email ID what you want to use uh, it for the Google okay, Ads. If I want to use my YouTube, uh, wala, so I will right, use that my... email ID. You can sign it from. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for asking that question. Rakesh, putting you on spotlight, you can ask your question now. Hi, Karan. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm also doing good. Great. So Karan, uh, earlier I have created uh, my Google account. So Google account showing me organization account. So right. it's mean it's an agency account. Not oh. an agency account. Do not get confused with, you know, agency. Organization means it's a business account. Okay. Right? Not an individual account, just an organization account. And here uh, I have put my GST number and company details, all the details. Mm -hmm. But one thing is uh, when I uh, log in my uh, this mail ID, so I saw two account, two ad account. So how can I delete one? Right, right. What happens is, you know, maybe to that one particular email ID, someone has added you as a user, right? So within your email ID, you'll be able to see that, right? For example, if I give, you know, to that email ID, your email ID, I take that and add you as a user, then you will be seeing my account also within the list, right? So you need to find out which is that account. From that account, you need to delete yourself there or delete that ID, and then you will not be able to see that anymore. Okay. And Karan, uh, will you uh, teach us uh, how to set up Google Tag and Analytics and all, how track conversion and all, will you uh, teach us? Right. Conversion tracking without that, Google Ads is incomplete, right? We'll not be able to monitor things. So for conversion tracking, there are different ways. I'll be showing you, you know, a lot of the ways which are possible for conversion tracking. So setting up directly through conversion, Google Analytics will be able to see. Tag Manager is a different ball game altogether. We'll see if that is, you know, uh, getting a chance. We'll try to show that also. But yes, end-to-end -end conversion tracking, monitoring, we'll be seeing and learning that all. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Karan. Great. Thank you so much for asking that question. G. Yeah. Hi, Karan. Because I have a one doubt. Uh, the when I just just log in and sign up the account, it's asking for the uh, website actually. So is it compulsory for to uh, website for login? Right, not for login, but to run Google Ads, you need to have a website. Right, only then it's you know run all the different types of ads smoothly. Apart from website, you could only be able to run your YouTube and app ads. If 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 I have any any other pages, it's like a Facebook page. So no, that can be considered? one page cannot be uh, run as a Google Ads. You need to have at least a one landing page, individual domain or any, you know, landing okay. page needs to be there and you can run that. Okay, fine. Thank you. Okay. You are welcome. Now we are putting Hussein on spotlight. You can ask your question right now. Uh, yes. Uh, good evening, Mr. Khan. Uh, uh, regarding the question which you asked, sir, uh, sorry, the question is that regarding for individual and organization. Now, if I want to start a freelancing account, so as per individual, it is said that I can only run one account itself. But if I'm choosing organization, it means I can add multiple accounts of my clients. So is that the main difference regarding for that? A very good question. So as you said, your uh, you know, motto is to run freelancing business, exactly. right? Exactly. You want exactly. to become a freelancer. So here you will not have your account, any account altogether. What you'll do here is your client's account, you need to take the access into that, right? So say Hussein.com, Hussein at gmail.com, if that is your email ID, in okay. your client, to your client, you'll ask them to add you as a user, and then you'll be able to use those, you know, clients' account. If you add 10. If you give your ID into 10 accounts, you'll be able to access all of those 10, right? You then you need not have even one account, right? So that is how it runs. Having individual or organization is just that for one particular account. Is that an individual or business account? That is only what Google is wanting to consider and nothing okay. else apart from that. Okay, because I'm trying to do the promotion once you ask for the billing. So mm. I have gone through that the billing right now. So it asks mm. for select individual or select organization. And then you cannot uh, change it. So right. what should I uh, input that one? So that is the uh, question. Are you a registered business? No, it is you not can, a registered business. Right. You can then uh, choose individual account. If you're a registered okay. business, then go with the organization because it might be asking you a lot of you know business registration things as well. 
like your registered business address, business legal name and stuff like that. Okay, but if, if I'm doing in a future base in a freelancing, so if I'm doing for an individual right now. Yes, you'll not be using your account altogether for freelancing or need not worry, right? You'll never be running ads on your account, what you're selecting right now. It will be inside the client's account, you'll be running ads, right? So you need not worry if yours is individual or an organization. But if supposedly, if I run in my account itself, if I'm having a, a good client and he says, okay, I'm transferring with this amount, and mm. you run in your account itself. Right. Never we should be doing that because, you know, it should be on client's account, on client's credit card. They should be adding their money and stuff like that. Because okay. if you suppose get second account, second client, what okay. will you do? You cannot run two clients from one account, right? And never, okay. it should be, you know, you should have the control. Clients should have full control of their business, right? You okay. as a user should be running everything, but you should always run it from the client's account. It, that's a client and if they're wanting to run educate them that you know you need to set up an account maybe help them with setting up process once then take the access and from run there you'll only be inviting trouble if you run it from your account who will add money when will be the money added and stuff like that there are multiple things right mm -hmm. through my experience i'm selling uh, telling you always it should be on the client's account and not in your account and mr Khan, just last one more thing that if i want to if i'm doing a freelancing right uh, in shortly so if I want to add the client's account, suppose that you are my client and I want to add your account. And uh, so how's the process regarding for that? So suppose I'm your client, right? So yes. what you need to do here is you need to guide me to go into the 12 and tools and settings, right? And under access and security, what you, I'll do here is if I want to add you as a user, I'll simply okay. come here. I'll click on this plus icon. I can enter that email ID. I can select if I, I want to give you billing, read only your standard access. You need to take standard access from where you'll be able to manage the client's account, manage right? So once okay. the client account is ready, inside the client account, you need to add yourself as a user by adding your email ID here. So all of those people are, you know, within those ID, you'll be able to see all those different billing, different email IDs and what access is having for that one, you know, account out here. Okay, just last one more thing. Uh, if the client is giving me an, an admin access, so is there something like admin access, like he can have the same thing, uh, the major access and the same thing I can also have it. Right, as we see here, there's no admin. Max we can get is a standard access. That means you'll be able to do everything, right? You'll not be just doing it. You'll not be able to delete admin. Only admin can add admin or delete admin or delete any user, but you can okay. get your standard access from where you can manage all the campaigns and everything. Right, it's just that you'll not get you know this option that is edit users, managers, or delete people and stuff okay. like that. Okay. Okay. okay, fine. Thank you very much. Great. You are welcome. Thank you so much for asking that question. Chandan, putting you on spotlight, you can ask your question now. Uh, hello, sir. Yes. Uh, um, sir, my question was. कुछ मेरा एडवांस एक क्वेश्चन है मैं ऑलरेडी मैं चलाता हूं मैं आपसे बात भी किया था फर्स्ट टाइम और वन टू वन कंसल्टेंसी के लिए क्लासेस के लिए बात किया था आपसे मैं इंस्टाग्राम पे आपको बात हुआ था आपसे सर और सर जो मेरा कोई जो क्वेश्चन जो है सर आ, मुझे स्क्रिप्ट से रिलेटेड है और ऑटोमेशन के थ्रू काम करना का, करने का मतलब है क्योंकि सर बेसिक तो मुझे आता है और मैं कैंपेन को अच्छे से ऑप्टिमाइज भी करता हूँ तो बस स्क्रिप्ट से आपको क्या क्लास में ये स्क्रिप्ट पार्ट पढ़ाया जाएगा और स्क्रिप्ट को कैसे यूज करेंगे और स्क्रिप्ट लैंग्वेज के थ्रू कैसे हम ऑटोमेट कर सकते हैं कोई भी कैंपेन को जिससे मेरा बहुत सारा टाइम मेरा बच जाता है हेलो राइट right. तो ऑटोमेशन हम सारे पढ़ेंगे सारे पावरफुल ऑटोमेशन जैसे कि हम बहुत कुछ मैनेज कर सकते हैं अभी तो गेट स्टार्ट है अभी ये भी सीरीज चल रहा है राइट गोइंग फर्दर और सर और क्वेश्चन और एक क्वेश्चन ये है कि आप अभी कुछ कुछ टाइम पहले किसी ने पूछा था एनजीओ के लिए चलाने के लिए तो आपने उन्हें कुछ बताया था सर तो यहाँ पे एक गूगल का ग्रांट जो है नॉन प्रॉफिट के लिए भी होता है शायद right. तो right. तो उन तो वहाँ से भी तो वो एन को चला सकते हैं फ्री में अकाउंट वहाँ पे सर चलता है मेरे ख्याल से मैं चलाया नहीं लेकिन मुझे इसके बारे में आइडिया है राइट एनजीओ का ग्रांट होता है एजुकेशन बिजनेस के लिए ग्रांट होता है समटाइम मेडिकल के लिए भी ग्रांट होता है बट इट्स नॉट अ मैंडेटरी दैट दे गेट इट गेट इट राइट हमको सबमिट करना पड़ेगा गूगल रिव्यू करेगा अगर एलिजिबल है तो वन अर्न होता है कंट्री वाइज पॉलिसी वाइज डिफरेंट थिंग्स चेंज होती है किसी ने पूछा था कि मैंडेटरी है तो वो नहीं है पॉसिबल 
सर वन क्वेश्चन और है कि सर मेरा जिस क्वेश्चन है जैसे वेब डेवलपमेंट एजेंसी और डिजिटल मार्केटिंग सर्विसेज और डिजिटल मार्केटिंग एजेंसी इस टाइप का आप की पे आए चलाता हूँ तो आपका एवरेज सी कितना जाता है सर डेढ़ सौ दो सौ तक जाता है आराम से कल मैं सारा प्रोसेस बताऊंगा रिसर्च का आप खुद देख सकते हो कि कैसे रिसर्च करना है क्या करना है सब कुछ राइट एंड विल बी एबल टू सी दैट सर मैं आइडिया ले रहा हूँ क्योंकि मेरा जो एवरेज सीपीसी है ऑलरेडी सिक्सटी ऑलमोस्ट के अराउंड है और लेकिन वहाँ पे मैं सिक्सटी सिक्सटी जी सिक्सटी रुपीज है और वहाँ पे जो मैं जाता हूँ ना कि वहाँ पे मेरा सर्च इम्प्रेशन जो लॉस होता है बाय बजट के कुछ थ्रू मेरा फिफ्टी परसेंट ऊपर हो जाता है राइट तो उस केस में मुझे एज ए कैंपेन को बजट बढ़ाने पड़ेगा या कीवर्ड को एवरेज सीपीसी बढ़ाने पड़ेगा कीवर्ड का क्वालिटी इम्प्रूव करना पड़ेगा राइट सर्च टर्म रिपोर्ट पे काम करके की वर्ड का क्वालिटी राइट यूजर टारगेटिंग करना पड़ेगा बजट के अराउंड भी थोड़ा बहुत प्ले अराउंड कर सकते हैं जब ऑप्टिमाइजेशन के डिस्कस करेंगे मैं सारा कुछ इसमें बताऊंगा कि कैसे इसका मैथ्स एंड फॉर्मूलाज लगेगा ठीक है सही मैं अभी फिलहाल में मैं एक कैंपेन रन करता हूँ वन लाइनर वन लाइनर आंसर नहीं है ना कि अब ये कर लो इट्स लॉर ऑफ थिंग्स वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड राइट तो वी नीड टू वेट फॉर दैट राइट एक्सप्लेनेशन इन द राइट फॉर्मेट क्योंकि एक लाइन आंसर तो नहीं है कि आपको ये के लिए ये कर दिए और वो फिक्स हो जाएगा एंड मल्टीपल थिंग्स you know we need to consider what all those things how we can consider we'll show you and explain you in the right format okay 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 uh sir ek question aur hai ki kya aapke paas kuch template hai jo client ko kis tarah se aap projection nikal ke dete hain right aur ya client ka proposal kis tarah ko kaise dete hain राइट right. सब कुछ क्लाइंट टू क्लाइंट डिफर होता है राइट right? प्रपोजल कैसे देते हैं वो तो अनफॉर्चुनेटली इसका यू नो चैप्टर नहीं है राइट इट्स अ डिफरेंट बॉल गेम ऑल टुगेदर एजेंसी कैसे प्रमोट करते हैं एजेंसी में क्लाइंट्स कैसे लाते हैं दैट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग ऑल टुगेदर पर यहाँ पे हम गूगल एड्स कैसे अच्छे से चला सकते हैं कैसे रिजल्ट ला सकते हैं वो सारा एंड टू एंड सीखेंगे ठीक है नहीं वो तो प्रोजेक्शन निकाल के देते होंगे राइट टीम सारी देती है प्रोजेक्शन मैं ये बता रहा हूँ डिफरेंट बॉल गेम ऑल टूगेदर डिफरेंट चैप्टर ऑल टूगेदर अगर अपन के पास टाइम मिला तो मे बी एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वर्कशॉप आई विल शो यू वे ऑफ हाउ वी डू दैट दैट नॉट अ मैंडेटरी चैप्टर दैट इन फैक्ट इज नॉट अ चैप्टर इफ देर इज अ टाइम इट अलाउज आई डेफिनेटली शो यू हाउ यू नो टू गेट द बेनिफिट ऑफ इट ओके आपसे एक रिक्वेस्ट है आ, क्या आपके पास ये भी टेम्पलेट होगा कुछ भी बिजनेस का तो ग्रुप में शेयर कर दो ताकि बहुत आदमी को हेल्प हो जाएगा सर ये जो होता है ना प्रोजेक्शन ये इसको निकालने के लिए आदमी को बहुत सर मुझे भी बहुत परेशानी हुई है मैं भी बहुत सारे वीडियो को देखा यूट्यूब पे और गूगल पर पूरा ब्लॉग देखा मुझे उतना अच्छा नहीं मिला लेकिन फिर किसी तरह मैं चलाता हूँ और मुझे फिर मैं चाहता हूँ कि परफेक्ट वे से आप लोग किस तरह काम करते हो मैं इसलिए ठीक है आप अपना टेम्पलेट शेयर कीजिए सारे टेम्पलेट शेयर कीजिए जो जो आपने सीखा है फिर यू you नो know, देखते हैं कि कैसा है उस हिसाब से फिर मैं भी देखता हूं अगर हमारी टीम कोई टेम्पलेट फॉलो करती है तो वो भी शेयर करने की कोशिश करता हूं ठीक है चलो ठीक है सर मैं भेज रहा हूं डन थैंक यू थैंक यू जी ओके थैंक यू सो मच फॉर शेयरिंग दैट यू नो स्वेट लिन आई एम नॉट श्योर हाउ टू प्रोनाउंस योर नेम द राइट वे यस सर गुड इवनिंग थिंग is there any method to like credit debt or is it uh, mandatory to like uh, that promotional that uh, credit amount or how can i use that credit sir so your inactive account did that spend any amount earlier no, no sir know? no just for practice i have created that for keyword search kind of things right so you can go to that ads.google.com you know you can click on that 20000 once again claim that and you okay. might get the code make sure you if it's asking you email id you enter the mm -hmm. same one what you have your account on reactivate the account and from there it might be eligible
okay sir is it mandatory to used at a credit amount or we can normally like upload from our credit card or debit card for using to run so campaign mandatory to use that credit amount in fact that will come later on in starting you need to add money from your credit card debit card paytm google pay and stuff like that and you will be able to recharge the account okay sir perfect sir thank you so much Great. thank you so much for asking that question all right we now see Akshat here. Akshat, putting you on spotlight. How are you doing? Good evening, Karan. How are good you? Good evening. I'm doing good, Akshat. How are you doing? Good, good. Uh, good. My question is, ki, uh, see, uh, when we open this uh, Google Ads account, there is an overview which says that total impression, total clicks, right? So that right. dashboard, that dashboard is not coming up right but but when i downloaded the mobile application and right. i've seen so all all the numbers i'm able to see but i'm not able to see in uh, online are you on your system right now yes i've just given you the access co-host access share your screen and let us see why it is not coming up okay No, it is showing. All right, magic resolve. But चलो ठीक है तो बाकी बाकी ये क्वेश्चन फिर मैं बाद में पूछूँगा अभी तो ये इतना ही कि ओवर ओवरव्यू का क्वेश्चन था मेजरली. Perfect, great. ठीक है सर, thank you. Right, thank you. Hi Karan. Hi. So, how can we open a search ad 360 account? It's uh, similar to this Google Ads. that's a different thing altogether right just you know uh, search for that search as 360 it has the different process altogether and you can sign up with that it's not from google as different ball game altogether it's showing like uh, you have to connect with some partner uh, one partner okay so uh, is there any process to reach them like that, uh, we can't open directly right it might ask you to connect with the support team and the partner and then you know along with them you will be able to do that so it might have some prerequisite so make sure you're connecting with the team and they'll be guiding you with the right process or if there are any prerequisite they'll check those and then allow you to open that account okay okay thank you great thank you so much for asking that jamesh All right, Aryan, putting you on spotlight. You can ask your question right now. Hello, hi, Karan. Uh, my question was: uh, I'm uh, setting up, uh, I'm claiming the offer, but it's not like uh, I have created account for Google Ads like uh -huh. seven months ago, but uh, I had haven't used it. So I'm claiming offer, but it's not showing in the promotions tab. Ki you have claimed this offer. So, so you have. Your account has already spent money seven months. No, old. no, no. It's it haven't spent any money. It's I I just created it and just kept it. Right. Is that twenty thousand rupees of credit? Uh, no, it's not showing. Uh, I'm claiming the offer, but you, it's not you know, for that twenty thousand. Yeah, yeah, I did. All right. But, but it's yeah. twenty thousand. What happens is you know uh you will have to sometimes reach to that spending of twenty thousand and then it will show you that. But just to make sure, okay. sometimes it might be delay. Connect with the support team once, right? And they'll actually check in the background and say if that is successfully claimed or not. Yes, yes, sure. Right. Sure. So that can also be done. And sometimes you okay. might also receive an email, so you can cross check yeah, yeah, with okay. that as as well. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Great. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much for asking that. I just want to understand one important thing here, guys. You know, right now, whatever we learn, the entire thing, the setting up the account, the claiming of the offer, all the questions we are discussing, are we on the same page? Are we all able to follow the flow? If we are able to follow, if we are able to understand the power of it, put it P in the chat box so that we know we all are on the same page and, you know, these discussions are powerful and helping us to learn new concepts, right? Great. Perfect. I see that in the chat box. Thank you so much for sharing that, guys. Sounds good. Perfect. Putting Sonal on Spotlight. Sonal, you can ask your question right now. Uh, hi, Karan. Uh, sorry, I'm unable to uh, uh, put on my video. Uh, actually, I have a few questions. Uh, first, while uh, starting individual account, uh, we need to enter business name and business website. So website, you said you need at least one landing page. And what do we put in business name? You're starting an organization account, I believe, right? Uh, no, the individual account. Right. So you can enter your name there. Okay. Uh, then uh, another, another question is, uh, what is the minimum ad spending limit uh, like to start with? Uh, is it like 100 rupees, 50 rupees, 200 rupees, 500 rupees? What is the minimum limit? Uh, to start with 500, I believe that's the minimum limit. Okay, per day. Per day, you can spend up to 100 also. But to add money in Google Ads account, I believe you can, you know, need to add minimum 500 rupees. Okay. And uh, then I had another question. Why uh, suppose uh, uh, doing freelancing uh, or job also while taking up a client, uh, do we uh, need to check, do research that whether this uh, niche of the client is suitable for Google ads or not? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Every client needs the return on their investment, right? They will have certain expectation, right? And most of the times client will only give you the project once you show that projections are confidence with that, right? So only take up the projects if you see you can actually be able to help the client and make it profitable. Otherwise, even if you get the client within a month or two, it will be gone. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Karan, uh, uh, regarding automation, do we need to know coding to do the automation of scripts? Absolutely not. The everything, whatever is required, will be teaching you. Right? There are a few technical things, but you need not require coding. Right? Everything from scratch will be teaching you in terms of automation. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Um, very well. Basically, sir, my question is, uh, how can we switch our account to organization account? So once As you... a... mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you have an individual account and you need to switch to organization. I don't have any account. I just uh, set up today only. Mm -hmm. But I didn't get any option of organization or... It will give you an or... option once you're trying to, you know, uh, set up billing. Right. So once you okay. try to set up, once you try to add any money at that time, it will ask you, it will show you the billing screen once again entirely. At that time, it, you will be able to select organization. If you don't mind, can I share my screen and Absolutely. show you what I'm getting? The screen sharing access. Others might also have the same thing. So you can present your screen now. I've given you access. Wait a second, where is the option? Hmm. At the bottom, you'll Maybe. have a green screen share. You need to click on that and then present your screen. Yeah. Right here, if you see. Is it visible? Yes. So it's asking you your mm. country, your INR payment profile at the bottom here, individual payment yep. profile ID, right? Click on that option where you see your name. Click on the arrow mark. No, no not there, not there. Here, where you see payment okay. profile, yes, this one, right? So, did you already select individual? Or oh, no. Click, click on create payments profile. Okay. Right. Here, if you see account type, it is giving you organization or individual. You can click on this okay. pencil icon and change this through. Right. And then you Got will it. be able to select whatever you select. Got it, sir. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And sir, I didn't receive uh, able to see the that dashboard which are showing in the class. So completing payment, you know, uh, billing screen is important for loading it the Google Ads the right way, 
right? So you can complete okay. your process of setting up your billing entirely, and then okay. it will be loading up the right view for you. And the last question, what is the difference between the individual and the organization account? There are a couple of differences. In the individual account, maybe we cannot add different users if you want to add. That's only possible okay. in organization, right? Sometimes in organization, they might be GSC applicable. In individual, individual also is applicable. Sometimes it's not. So you need to okay. uh, study rules right now if it's, you know, GSD only applicable organization on individuals, but a mandatory, okay. you know, users adding and other things, you can only do it in the uh, organization one. Mm, got it. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, so much for asking that question, Nananjay. Mm. All right. I see Gokul putting you on spotlight. You can ask your question now. Hey, hi, Karan. Uh, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? Good, 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 Karan. Great. Yeah, Karan, uh, the thing is, uh, whenever I uh, get started on the account page, right, uh, it is directly going to Google My Business account uh, while starting the page. Is there any way that they can guide me out here? So you are click on ads.google.com and then going, right? Yes, 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 yes. Are you on your screen? Yes, I am on my screen. Okay, I've just given you the access. Try to share your screen. Let's see what's happening. On Sorry, it's taking some time. No problem. It sometimes take, you know, to load. This is my another ad account. Okay. No. But it did load us Google Ads account, right? Yeah, this is actually, uh, you told me to do that expert mode thing and all, right? So I thought of creating a new one. Mm -hmm. So one minute, I just... It. And this one itself, you can switch it to expert mode, right? By creating a normal campaign and okay. that will load up that thing. But uh, I thought of creating a new ad account completely. Okay. Is that for the same business? Yeah, it's uh, it's for the same business only. Okay, I would not yeah. recommending you to you know I'll not recommend you to create a new ad account. Do it in the same account so that we are making sure we're not having two to three accounts. Otherwise, it might again get into policy violation that is circumventing policies and it might dis disapprove or suspend all of our accounts. But I do have my YouTube pages and all in that account. So that the same you same Google Ads account will be able to run YouTube ads and different things like that. Okay. Everything can be run from one Google Ads account, even okay. though Google or YouTube is set up on a different ID and different things are on different ID, that is still fine. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. So uh, this also, you told me, right? Uh, this 20,000 also, is it possible to, that I might get or like for right. the new? Did you ever spend on this account? Yeah. I, I used to spend that on that account, actually, the old account. Right. It's, it's then only for the new account. You can click on get started. It will show you all the terms and conditions what are there to claim this offer. You can read through that and you can, you know, see what it is looking like. Okay, fine. fine. Thank, yeah, you. Sure. Thank you. Do we need to put in a GST? I mean, I'm adding, if I am just starting off something of my own as a new, and mm -hmm. I just want to run affiliate ads, I'm just mm -hmm. asking. If you put your GST number, you'll be able to claim that. Otherwise, it will anyhow, otherwise, it will anyhow charge GST. You will not be able to claim if you do not enter that. Okay, but GST is not mandatory as of now, right? It's as not mandatory, yes. It does take that GST amount anyhow, just like anything we buy. 
it will take the stack. If you're entering that thing, you will be able to claim back. Otherwise, it will just, you know, uh, taking that anyhow. Okay. And just in case, if I have, uh, you know, three, four uh, Gmail accounts, but I have never set up a, uh, what do you say, a Google Ads on any of uh -huh. them, but uh -huh. only on one, just in case, and I never used it. Uh -huh. You know, it was just like a keyword planner. I was just trying to play around with it, but never entered my card details or nothing. No payment on that. So shall I just go with that account or shall I just create any one account from a different Gmail ID? Because all those Gmail IDs are interconnected, right? Right. So I would all... say you can use it the same one where you were having keyword planner, right? So that within the same one, you'll be able to do everything. All right. Okay. And, uh, would would we would you be teaching something like you know how can we run ads or some kind of affiliate offers? I'm just trying to understand something like ClickBank offers or not. What shall I look for? Just the other options on that. Right. Well, so understanding uh, for every kind of business, right? What are the right ways? So I'll be showing you the right method to do that. Thank you so much. That would be all. Thank you, Karan, once again. God bless. Thank You're you. welcome, Miros. Thank you so much for asking that. Yeah. I just want to know how to create accounts uh, in under one Google ad, like, you know, uh, because we have, we are three, four people working on the same different accounts. Uh, is there anything like, you know, we can have a separate login passwords or something like that? You need so, to explain me more. Three to four people working on different accounts as in, in different. One account, there is a one master account. Okay. So for one uh, one company so mm -hmm. under that they are different accounts so mm -hmm. one will be working for other ads i'll be working for different um, section of the ads so uh, i'm scared With one business and different yeah. people right yes yes maybe you all can create a different campaigns with your individual names right and only touch base on your campaigns and not others but unfortunately you know everything mm -hmm. on account in one account whatever is happening one or two, three different campaigns that will take up and read the data accordingly, right? To make sure who is doing what change, you'll be able to see in the change history and stuff, right? But it's like having one Facebook account and there are three people managing it, right? So oh. any change done by one would be affecting the entire account. So you need to make sure you all are in sync. You need to do more teamwork there, have more flow, and then you should be going in the right direction. Okay, there is no other way, like, you know, we cannot do anything. No, so there's no other way for one business. If you're having multiple people in it, you obviously cannot create, you know, I'll not suggest you to create different accounts altogether, right? Uh -huh. Within the same account, you need to manage it within more sync. Okay. okay. So, okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, is there anything like, you know, if there is a keyword, uh, if they are inserting and it'll, uh, and we, I'm also using, will it affect the account and uh, the cost per click? Yes. If you are using one keyword, someone else is also using the same keyword. Say it in your campaign or a different campaign, it will definitely affect that because any keyword goes in auction when someone is searching on the end user, right? It goes in the auction, right? And an auction, if there are 10 players, 50 players are competing within each other. That's why we say in one account, we should not have, be having duplicating keywords. What is it? I'll be explaining you more in depth tomorrow that how we do research, what are good practices, bad practices, everything around that. Okay. I would like you to show the history as well as because, you know, I just mm -hmm. want to get into detail mm -hmm. like tomorrow. If you, if you are able to like, you know, see how, if, if there is any changes made and if that is not me, just to know. Okay, sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much, Mubashira. Vijay, putting you on spotlight, you're going to ask your question. Now. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you? Hi, Karan. How are you? I'm good. Okay. I'm using uh, uh, Google Ads from uh, uh, past seven, eight years, but so far I was using only. Uh, by my own learning this is the first time i'm taking classes for the same and uh, uh, one question i have is that i tried to create two uh, different google ads account and add uh, promote my uh, single website and so one of my account got banned so now i have recovered it but uh, i want to know from one account can we uh, create campaigns for two different websites or is that allowed or is that's not allowed 
from one account you want to create for two different websites right i want to promote two different websites yeah right that shouldn't be we shouldn't be doing that the reason because your mm-hmm. account your conversion tracking and other things will be account level settings right so okay it will be mixture of you know which account it should follow we are just confusing mm-hmm. algorithm by doing that way so that okay. should be followed okay so conversion tracking is account based it is not campaign based yes it will be always sitting on the account level okay so uh, i can create a different ac- account and make myself admin for that account and yes, then you need to create a different account for a different business and that is how you should be running for multiple businesses okay okay thank thank you very much so looking forward to this and i have a lot of queries as we go on uh, we will uh, definitely uh, clear that out sure thank you so much for asking that vijay and we'll be mm-hmm. learning a lot of things going forward Yep, thanks. All right, Shiva, putting you on spotlight. You can ask your question now. Hi, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good as well. Thank you. So, when we're creating a new Google Ads account, uh, so is there any possibility to like uh, claim both the coupon codes, or we can claim only one coupon code at a time? Sorry, I didn't get that. Can you repeat that once again? Well, we are creating a new Google Ads account. Mm-hmm. So the Google is giving us some uh, promotion codes for the budgets, like two thousand, twenty thousand rupees. Right. Is there any possibility to claim like two thousand voucher and also twenty thousand voucher, or we can claim only one one voucher only? Right. It's only one which can be claimed. I believe what is uh, you know running right now. Still, I would believe this things keep changing dynamically. it might be one for you one for me differently also so read through those terms and conditions right and it will give you the right information what is reflecting on your end so it's better to have the form and just get the 2000 for initial phase right right that can be done yeah then future we could create other account and try to get that if it's available for a same business you cannot for a different business you can you know always claim that okay so thank you all right thank you so much for asking that shiva Karanji, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Uh, I've got a running question on this uh, second last question uh, about you know if I have a different business. Let's say if I'm running a real estate and I want to run ads for a real estate, and simultaneously I want to do something on a different affiliate marketing. So shall I set up two different accounts, as in two with two different Gmail IDs, or w- w- it's going to be one good? Yes. Yeah, so affiliate and real estate, those would be two different you know businesses, so two different Gmail IDs and two different accounts. And okay, now two different accounts. So, do uh, sh- should I have different uh, payment methods? As in, c- can I not use the same debit card or a credit card, or sh- sh- should they be different as well? If Under my, if you have a different right, but if you can use the same one also, that's not a problem because both are different businesses, right? It can be one person having multiple businesses, so we can use that way. But that's okay with the Google policy because I just want to go white hat, you know, <laughs> be on the good books. Yes, Google books sometimes get fishy, right? I, that's why I suggest if you have an option of a different card, give a totally different card there so that it's as wide as possible. But different card again, end of the day, it's, it's going to be the same billing same details. Now we cannot change that if you know same person, right? Same name, mm-hmm. having different businesses, so that will still remain the same. Billing address and the name would remain it the same, but the name. cards can. The cards can be changed just mm-hmm. in case if there's yes. a possibility. Yes. Thank you so, so thank you so much, and I'm sorry to interrupt on this one. I was just waiting on that one. Thank you again. No problem. Yeah. All right, Pradeep, putting you on spotlight. You can ask your question now. Yeah. Hi, Karan. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I followed uh, up you guys from Skill Nation to you. <laughs> Great. So I have like uh, four questions uh, regarding this Google Ads. Uh-huh. Uh, one is into like guidelines. Uh, does uh, Google Ads really reveal guidelines as what to follow, what not to follow? Is there any guidelines or a list of uh, things where we can check it? Yes, support.google.com, but it's a very lengthy one, right? It's uh-huh. not a straightforward thing that do this or do that. It's a uh-huh. huge platform. It's an ocean. Everything oh. present it definitely has a guideline, but it's not mm-hmm. black or white. It's always gray. Okay, great, great. So, and one more question is about the uh, funds. What we uh, put into the account. Once we put into the Google Ads account, is there a possibility to get the refund of the amount? 
if Google is suspending your account, right? Or if in case it's not allowing you to run ads, then mm -hmm. it will allow you to send money back to your source, right? Okay. Because it knows that you'll not be spending that anymore. Uh, or however, if for some some uh, some cases like if clients decides that he, he doesn't want to move ahead with Google Ads, take for example, he has invested some big uh, amount like 30 k, 40 k. Initially, he was interested much, but after a couple of days, if he is not interested, then the, how about the remaining amount? Uh, we have to refund it to the client, right? Right. So that cannot be claimed back. Once you add it to the Google account, it's, you know, cannot be claimed back until unless Google suspends the account or Google wants you to revert back. Okay. And one more question about the billing. See, when we entering about the currency, uh, when we say it's uh, Indian rupees. Right. So we cannot change it to dollars later on, right? You cannot change it. It needs to be, you know, billing currency. It's always mm -hmm. one time and mm -hmm. you cannot change it. Though you can run ads for us uk and different you know currency uh but it will be on your account the chart will always reflect in ina okay okay got it got it like take for example i the next question was like if my clients are in different countries take for example they're into like uh, travel or something like that they might be having some uh tourism kind of thing uh, it might be in uh, sri lanka philippines are uh, like that right. So right. in that so, the in that case also it will be charged in INR only. Right, you'll always add the currency according to the client's registered business, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that is what you'll be using to run ads, and you can run ads anyhow in whole world, right? Is that the registered one should be the legal one? Okay, okay, okay. And one more point to make about this. Uh... Uh, YouTube ads and app ads. You mentioned that we don't want a website for running this app and YouTube ads but because a uh, lot, lot of trainers say that uh, at least we need a um, website uh, or a landing page. But uh, I have a um, doubt on this one. Is it possible to run the uh, ads in uh, Google ads with only like YouTube and app installs without a website? Is that right? That's right. There are many businesses we help, which are app-based businesses, do not have website. We still mm -hmm. help get them, you know, get uh, app downloads. There are a lot of YouTube ads which can run without having a website. Now, there mm -hmm. are a few which need, you know, call to action, like a conversion and different thing, which would need, again, a website. But there are a few which you can just run without having a website. Great, great, Karan. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for asking that questions, Pradeep. Now, I see a lot of hands raised here, guys, right? But I see a few have been discussed. So if your question has been taken care of, you can also lower your hand so that we have the right sequence and right flow here, right? All right. Shobit Gupta putting you on spotlight. Hello. Hi, Karan. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Uh, all good. Thank you. Uh, actually, I want to know how to choose a channel for my advertisements. Like uh, we are discussing Google Ads here, but I got the workshop link from Facebook Ads. Right. So for what kind of business, which channel will be best suitable? How can we decide that? What are the factors for the same? Right. There are multiple factors for deciding a marketing channel. Right. I would say the right one would be, you know, doing some research and you can also start it on multiple platforms data will give you the right answer that which platform is more profitable for you so there is no uh, hard and fast guidelines like for these kinds of businesses of fb will perform good we can right. do anything anywhere yes we can do anything anywhere for few businesses it might be you know that these things work good than other right which is always can also be different case if we run it the ads different way right there are few businesses which in previous did not get good results from Google Ads, we could get that, right? So it also depends on a lot of other factors. Marketing is just like business. It's never black or white. There are multiple things which goes in behind. Okay, like uh, if you want to advertise a new software, uh, let's say I build a new software and I want to advertise it and get uh, best leads and conversions, uh, will FB ads work for me or Google ads? Will be right, good? that's a very broad question, right? You need to understand where your user is Right then from where they will get converted. What is your software about? Okay, so audience research uh, will be the uh, main part here. Right, so I'm asking what is your software about? 
uh, it is for uh, rental bridal software rental booking software uh, rental the, for uh, rental houses uh, who provide dresses on booking uh, on rental basis like for okay. bridal dresses and other dresses on rental basis got you so on facebook also your audience is relevant right anyone who sees your uh, you know uh add on facebook they might also be interested so you can run both and data should be giving you the right answer there are a few businesses heavy b2b or stuff like that for them facebook might not be you know applicable and only google ads might work there are a few businesses where google ads are not promising only facebook ad might be better so you can test you need to do the research and you'll get the right you know data okay thank you okay you're welcome thank you so much for asking that question zeel putting you on spotlight you can ask your question now hello hi karan hi uh, so i am very new to this google ads um, and i just created an account mm -hmm. but when i am claiming the offer of 20000 I didn't receive a mail. Neither can I see anything uh, on the promotion page. Mm -hmm. I am directly uh, direct uh, redirected to this uh, campaign page mm -hmm. on uh, mail. So, uh, is calling only the uh, way th uh, through which I can know that I have claimed the offer? I would say just read through the you know terms of that once again. Sometimes twenty thousand. That is sometimes you know it. uh is getting fishy it might not show you that offer right until that 20000 is spent and then it will show you or reflect that offer but i'll say just read through that right and also maybe you know connecting with the team once will give you the right answer whether that is there completed the right way or not okay okay thank okay. you that's it and also did you complete your billing setup full billing setup is that complete uh, no that no i didn't no i didn't do that i just i was uh, like scared that i might not uh, do anything wrong so i just claimed the offer nothing uh, you know much more than that right sometimes because of incomplete billing setup also it might not be reflecting there so try to complete that billing setup and then see if it is reflecting okay so i i, I need to fill that uh, credit card options and everything credit card details right. now right okay okay, okay. Yes, thank you. Great, thank you so much for asking that. We all right. Ak Akash, putting you on spotlight, you can ask a question. Um, hi, Karan. Uh, I have two question. Uh, mm -hmm. first, would we be learning about uh, master account or agency account, like how to set up or something about that uh, in the course, or also like if I create a master account from the uh, individual Google Ads account. uh would that individual account be set up as a sub account uh, in that master account or it would be like converted i can uh, could i uh, be able to run ads from it or not right so you can set up a master account right that's a very simple process you just need to enter uh, you know a uh, master account set up on google it will ask you to sign up sign up and that's it it will be ready right once you do that within your account which was an you know actual account from that also you can run ads and you can you know use that as a normal one okay got it thanks okay you're welcome thank you so much for asking that question all right the screen name says lenovo putting you on spotlight you can ask your question now hello hi yeah good evening sir sir yeah. i have a question actually uh, i have a store online store of sari and mm -hmm. approx 4000 products are there on my store right and uh, i was trying to run a uh, google shopping ad i used one of the app of uh, shopify but my account uh, merchant account get uh, suspended so can it be recovered first thing and next thing so that means if we have to run the shopping ad with entire collection or we can start with few of our collections right so if your merchant account seller is getting suspended or if ads are getting disapproved that can be you know to an extent claimed back right and uh, you need to also understand why it's getting suspended in the first place and uh, fix that issue and that can be claimed back and once you have it back once you're running it you have the option whether to run it for all products or only few products or only one product you can have that control okay okay sir uh, is there any trusted apps through which we can means uh, up, uh, run the google shopping at uh, selecting all the products at once 
Google accounts, shopping ads, you know, Google ads, merchant center. These are the only ones, you know, you can directly use, right? Third party are always third party. You, you know, uh, it's not a trusted uh, thing apart from Google ads and merchant center account. So in that case, we need to feed all the uh, collections one by one. How you fill everything, you know, in a bulk, in a go, right? You can simply connect your Shopify account to merchant center account. It will taking that automatically. How do you fill within that sheet? I'll be showing you that process when we are in the shopping account. But it's still via Google Ads account and Merchant Center account, you need to connect your Shopify and other things. You will be able to, you know, directly getting all the accounts listed in a go. Okay, sir. Okay. Right? Okay, sir. Because obviously many businesses, e-commerce businesses especially have hundreds and thousands of products. It will not be possible to do one by one. So there are more automated ways to everything upload in a bulk. Thank you, sir. Great. All right. Thank you so much for asking that. Rima, putting you on spotlight, you can ask your question right now. Hi, Karan. How are you? Hi. I'm doing good. How are you? Well, actually, the thing is, I am really new to this, but the account I'm using right now was used by someone else. Mm -hmm. earlier. And uh, more or less the amount of 50,000 has been spent on this account, but I mm -hmm. see no promotion entries anywhere. So I just want to know if there are any pending promotions. I just want to find out if I can use pending credit or something that hasn't been used yet. Right. Can you share your screen? Yeah, sure. Right. So any account which is spent even one rupee, right, would be considered yeah. as old account. That's the definition of the new. In fact, I, any, yeah. yeah. Okay, go on, please. Sorry. Yeah, I was just saying even if one impression is, you know, on the account, that will be considered as old and new offers cannot be used. Uh, the person using the account, like the person who was using the accounts has also uh, attended your seminar and started that. Okay. So uh, he might have applied for the promotion or credit, but right. the credit hasn't been used. So I just want to find out if right. it can be Share used. Your screen. Right I'll show you how we find out that right now. Okay. Uh, is it visible? Yes, it is. Okay. So here I uh, it shows I don't have any entries yet. Right. So it doesn't look like previously any promotions was used here. Okay. But then on the same account, do okay. you, are you sure that there was spend? Yeah, yeah. At least more or less 50,000 has been spent on this account. I just want to find out if uh, the person using this uh, before me has even applied for uh, the credit or something. If there was any you know, credit applied, it will show here within the entries. If there okay. are no entries, that means there was no credit applied and just without that, the ads were run. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Praveen, putting you on spotlight, you can ask your question right now. Yeah, actually, I want to ask that uh, before seven days, I have uh, opened the Google account. And uh, hello. Yeah, yeah, I'm able to hear you. Go ahead. Yeah. And uh, I want to share the screen and uh, I'm about to complete the billing. But uh, I want to know how to uh, get credit of 2000. Just uh, uh, you just given that. you the screen share access. You can share your screen now. Yeah. Also, if possible, try to come on cam. You will be then visible on spotlight. Uh, this is the screen, and uh, actually, uh, the billing cycle is about to complete. But I want to use that uh, two thousand credit. So, how shall I use that? Right. This is not ads, but this is you know uh, business.google.com, right? Or but it is uh, here. Ads is uh, shown here. Ads is there. Right. You need to load ads.google.com. This okay. looks like good, you know, Google My Business or Business Profile Manager. Okay. Yeah, it is Google Profile Manager. Right. But ads.google.com is what you need to, you know, load. Okay. So, uh, shall I open again and uh, do the needful uh, which you uh, told today? Right. Okay. 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 Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let me see who is next. 
Ashish, putting you on spotlight, you can ask your question right now. Uh, thanks, Karan. Uh, Karan, I just need to know, like, uh, moving ahead, are we going to cover Google Ads Editor application also? We'll try to cover as many tools as possible, right? Editor, we'll try to include that within the flow. Fine. So I work for HireSnap. We know this company. Mm -hmm. And I was... I was working on this. So this is a resume builder for professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was, I started this, wanted to start this campaign of uh, professionals, a resume builder for professionals. Okay. And for this, uh, it is one thing, one doubt is that how can I add a second ad group here? Hello. So you're wanting to add a second ad group, right? Yes. Yes. Right. So in your campaign, once your campaign is ready, then you will be able to create a new ad group, right? You need to, you know, publish that campaign. Okay. Okay. And you and said it is for a company hire snap, right? Yes, hire snap. It is a resume builder, uh, uh AI led resume builder. Got you. Hmm. And uh, when I was reviewing, it was, yeah, this thing. It is showing me add extensions, add extensions to boost the campaign performance. When I go mm -hmm. here, I already have added site link extensions and call out extensions. Uh, and call extensions are not like, they. Uh, I can't add call extensions. We don't have such uh, things here. Right. Like, so yes you know, once you publish the campaign fully right that is when you'll be able to see all the options of adding the extensions and stuff like that okay and uh, just one last thing is on the audience uh these audience segments mm -hmm. so right now i had selected this uh, these things like you know is jobs. This a search campaign we are trying to create it's a, it's a okay yeah yes it's a search campaign it right. is so a, then we'll not be selecting any audience search campaign gets the power from the keywords right so we'll only be selecting keywords within this you know uh week we'll be covering entirely the right ways the do's and don'ts of everything in a search campaign okay so without uh, adding the audience can i just publish just it add keywords it? just add keywords and then you'll be able to publish that campaign i've added keywords okay Perfect. I've added keywords, I've added everything. I was just mm -hmm. confused about search ex uh, extensions part because it's showing me this error to fix. And right. the it will always show you, you know, that's a suggestion that it's showing you, right? But without that, also you see publish campaign button. That means without that, you can have it. You can, you know, publish that campaign. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Great, perfect. Thank you so much for asking that, Arushi. It was uh, lovely discussing all the questions with all of you, I see.